Hello and welcome to another episode of Southern Arizona Fossils. In this episode, we'll be hiking along the Yetman Trail in the Tucson Mountains, just west of Gates Pass. All of the video and images here are from Tucson Mountain Park, a look, don't collect area. This is an excellent area to see the Sonoran Desert wildlife and flora and have a look at a few Cretaceous and Paleozoic fossil outcrops along the way. Named after a local naturalist, the Yetman Trail winds through some of the most spectacular Sonoran Desert scenery you'll find. To get here from Tucson, follow Speedway Boulevard West. You'll pass the Wildlife Museum, another interesting place to spend a couple of hours. Gates Pass is a narrow mountain road. Watch out for bicycles and drive with caution. Near the bottom of the hill, you'll see a large parking lot for the Yetman Trailhead. The trail climbs about 500 feet in elevation over a distance of about half a mile. The grade is fairly steep at times, so you'll need to be in good physical shape to make the trip. The geology here is complex. To the left are Cretaceous and Tertiary volcanics, including Mega Breccia from the Tucson Mountain caldera. To the right are faulted blocks of Cretaceous Amol Arcos and volcanics. About halfway up the hill to the left, a large block of Paleozoic limestone will come into view. This is a block of late Paleozoic limestone that is completely out of stratigraphic position and is part of the rocks associated with the caldera collapse. This will be the second stop on this hike. A little further up the hill, outcrops of thinly laminated limestone belonging to the early Cretaceous Amol Arcos can be seen. Not far from this location, the partial skeleton of a late Cretaceous hadrosaur, known as the Tucson Mountains Dinosaur, was discovered. At the first saddle, take a left back towards Gates Pass and walk about 100 yards to a clearing with a limestone boulder to the northwest. Walk past the boulder down the poorly marked trail until you see this sandstone outcrop. This outcrop is a layer of bivalve and gastropod wax stone. A close inspection will reveal many bivalves and gastropods that make up the bulk of material in this outcrop. The outcrop extends for several hundred feet down the mountain. Once you have investigated this outcrop, proceed to the large block of Paleozoic limestone. We believe this is an exotic block of late Paleozoic Rain Valley formation, but we could not find any diagnostic fossils to prove that. The outcrop contains a lot of brachiopod and echinoid material most poorly preserved and most disarticulated. Still interesting though. If you decide to leave the trail, watch out for these guys. Known as jumping choya, in reality, they do not jump at all. If you inadvertently step on one or kick one as I've done here, your enjoyable hike could take a turn for the worse. If you find one attached to your feet, I have found the best way to get it off is to hold it in place with a stick or rock then move your foot away from it. As long as you keep your distance, they are quite tame and actually quite interesting to look at. This is a desert hike best made in winter. If you hike in summer, go in the early morning or late afternoon to avoid the deadly summer Sonoran desert heat. Take plenty of water anytime you go into the desert, and in summer, watch out for snakes. Until next time, enjoy hiking Arizona's great outdoors. <laughs>